is going on everyone, this is Sol here and today I'm bringing you the first episode of Pokemon Battle Factory. Now you may be wondering, what, what the fuck is Pokemon Battle Factory? Well, let me explain you. Uh, Pokemon Battle Factory is gonna be a VGC series, a VGC 2017 series, where we're gonna be climbing the, the online VGC 2017 ladder and provide live commentary as I go. Okay, no, that's Cybertron's intro. I'm not gonna copy that. Um, but yeah, mainly we're gonna be playing uh, some VGC 2017 and we're gonna be using like teams from um, pro players and such and also teams uh, around uh, not really used Pokemon. So I think it's gonna be a quite interesting series to be honest and I'm really hyped about this this series to be honest because I've been playing VGC 2017 only for like two weeks. I think I started playing after the London International Championships and I've been like quite addicted to this game to be honest and although I'm kind of a noob um, but um, I recently hit the top the top 500 ladder um, Pokemon Showdown uh, even though I as I just said I started playing like two weeks ago so I'm quite confident about about myself and my performance so far um, so yeah, as you may be wondering, uh, I'm not native English, uh, so English English is not my native tongue, so yeah. Um, I'll be trying my best to explain uh, what, why do I make a certain play, why do I choose a specific mon and such. And without further ado, let's look for some battles. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Tommy Cullen's team, which is this one, with it's a Raiden team. Uh, really cool, he achieved uh, top 8, so it's really good. As you can see, we're 8 and 8, and that's because uh, yesterday I was playing like non-stop and I went on tilt. I think I went like 1 and 5 or something like that. I uh, should have stopped playing um, at the beginning, but, but yeah. Normally, when I lose uh, 2 consecutive games, I stop playing, but yesterday I was... Um, I don't know, I was um, really on tilt after losing that two games and uh, I, ke I kept playing and uh, as I said I got a 1-5 or 1-4 record. So let's gonna, we're gonna try to climb the ladder a little bit today in today's episode and yeah, hopefully we'll find a an opponent because it, I don't know why it's taking so long. To be completely honest with you. Why are you taking so long? Come on. Okay, so we're gonna be facing a girl from Japan, Osaka. Konnichiwa. Arigatou gozaimasu. And she's bringing uh, Aerodactyl, Arcanine, Gyarados, Tapulele, Feromosa, and Vicavolt. Okay. So Aerodactyl is gonna be Focus Sash. Or maybe <clears throat> the Feromosa. But I believe Feromosa is gonna be Choice Band. Um. So let's see what we bring to the table for this game. Um, well, Pelipper is not extremely good against that team, but it could work. We can also bring uh, Mock, which I think is uh, really decent. I'm not bringing Porygon or setting up the Trick Room because that will help his uh, Vicabolt. And. Um, I feel like I'm gonna lead off with. Um, I should leave with uh, Tapu Koko and maybe Muck. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with Pelipper, Tapu Koko. I'm gonna bring Golduck. And my last man is gonna be, I guess, Muck. Yeah, I think so. It has to be Muck. Yeah, we have no Intimidates on this team, which is uh, not really the best, but as I said, it's not a team that I made by myself. Uh, it's a uh, Tommy Coolens team. I think I pronounced that correctly, I don't know, hopefully I did. And let's see what what Mons brings our Japanese girl uh, to, the, to the battlefield. So let's see. Okay, she's bringing Bicabal and Feromosa. So, that is not really bad. I mean, it could be worse. 
that's for sure. Uh, for almost I get access to Poison Jab, which could Oko our... Um, our... Uh, Tapu Goku. Uh, so what I feel like doing... I think I want to set up the Tailwind. So we can be faster than the Foromosa the following turn. And we have Focus Session Developer, so Big Apple is not gonna... He's not gonna get the Oko on us. So yeah, I feel like that's my best play. Um, I think he's not switching because he has like no reason to switch. So I think that's my best play. I think I'm going for a Tailwind, and I'm gonna protect my uh, Tapu Goku, predicting the the Poison Jab from Feromosa. So let's see what he ends up doing. I'm gonna protect my Tapu Goku, which means that Feromosa is not gonna protect. Okay, so he goes for a Poison Jab, which is uh, really predictable, in my opinion. We're gonna set up the Tailwind, and next turn we can go for the Dazzling Gleam. Okay, he's for a Thunderbolt. That's fine. He's gonna bring my Pelipper uh, to Focus Sash range, and um, none of those mods get access to priority, so that's good. And what I feel like doing is going for a Hurricane, maybe onto the Feromosa. The thing is, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be faster on Feromosa, even though I have the Tailwind. I should be faster, unless the thing's scarred, which is not, I guess. I'm gonna go for the Hurricane and the Dazzling Gleam. I think that's my overall best play. Um, the thing is, I don't think Feromosa is gonna be Focus Sash. I don't think so. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. Yep. Because he has Aerodactyl. She has Aerodactyl. And Aerodactyl, the best majority of the times, is Focus Sash. Okay. We draw Feromosa and goes into Arcanine. Okay. That's not really bad to me, because I can bring my Golduck. Or did did I bring Golduck? I think so, right? I think I bring Golduck. Should have gone uh, for the Hurricane onto the Beaker Bolt. Yeah, that was a misplay. That was a misplay. Okay, he's confused. He may recover with Citrus Berry, right? Okay, no. Flash Cannon onto the Pelipper. That is fine. Because next turn, next turn, I can bring, yeah, I, I bring Golduck. So, what can I do next turn? I, yeah, I think Golduck is my best play. Yeah, it is. And, um,. Let's see. Let's see what keep, what we can do here. Because I don't think I mean Gold Arcanine is not really a threat. So what I feel like doing is going for Skull onto the Vicabolt and go for Dazzling Gleam once again. I think that's my best play. What he can have in the back? Uh, he has Feromosa in the back and maybe Gyarados. Maybe. Um, Arcanine has no way to kill my Tapu Koko. So I feel like going for the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that should be enough. Dazzling Gleam plus Skull onto the Beacable should be able to pick up the knockout. Okay, he's for a stream speed, that's for sure, because he's gonna be faster, yeah. He's for the Golduck, which is okay, to be honest. I'm gonna go for Skull, and maybe I can pick up the knockout. Yeah. So, this is gonna be a, dazzle, a single target Dazzling Gleam. And this should be enough to kill the Arcanine. Yeah, it is. So that is great. Because now I'm going to be faster than the Feromosa and the other monk he's going to bring. So I feel really confident about my, my position right now. And I my priority is to kill that Feromosa. I, can allow, I can't allow the Feromosa to like... Um, yeah, Tapole is going to come in. Um, this shouldn't be a problem, even though it's Scar, because I'm gonna speed with uh, both of my mons, so I should be fine. And let's see, because he may protect with Feromosa, but if I allow Feromosa to pick up a knockout, 
then it's gonna be over. And yeah, Muck can deal with the Tapolele. So I feel like um, Scald plus Dazzling Gleam is the play to make here. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the safest play and the best play at the same time. Because he's, he's not gonna protect with Formosa. Is he... Okay, see... As I expected, it's not like uh, Focus Sash. Yeah, because when you're bringing Aerodactyl, the one almost the 100% of the time you're gonna be bringing Focus Sash Aerodactyl because that thing is really frail. So, yeah. He's gonna pick up the knockout onto the Golduck, which is fine for me. I don't care that much. To be completely honest with you, I'm gonna go into Mug and this should be game because I can kill that thing with the Poison Jab and Tapolo is not gonna be able to pick up the knockout onto Mug. So, this should be our first win and it's gonna be a nice start for our series to be completely honest. I'm gonna go for the Thunder onto the Tapolele and the Poison Jab and this should be more than enough, I guess. Okay, she forfeits. That's completely uh, fine. And we're gonna get the first win. So that is GG. That's GG. And we're gonna, I'm gonna post it and we'll find another battle. So be right back. Okay, so we find another opponent from Japan as well. And he's bringing uh, Gyarados, Tapu Koko, Alan Raichu, Drampa, uh, Garchomp, and Alolan Ninetales. Okay, so let's see. I need to bring my uh, Pelipper because I don't want the Ninetales to set the Aurora Bale. So I think um, Pelipper plus uh, Golda could be a really good uh, lead, but if he brings Tapu Gogo and Raichu, it's gonna be bad times for us. So what I feel like doing is going Pelipper Muck. Because Mac threatens, uh, Mac threats um, both Chumons. I could also bring Tapu Bulu, though I think it's not the base. It's not the best mom for this battle uh, because Raichu outspeeds when the electric terrain is up. So what I feel like doing is bringing my Tapu Bulu. I think Tapu Bulu, uh, Tapu Bulu is not that good to be enough. To be honest, and um, should be Paragon? I don't think so. I think I'm bringing Golduck in the back and Tapu Bulu to get rid of the. Uh, yeah, should be doing that. Now nah, I'm gonna bring Tapu Koko. I'm bringing Tapu Koko because it goes well against the Drampa, against the uh, Garchomp as well, unless it's Scarf. So maybe I should have bring. Uh, Tapu Bulu instead of Tapu Gogo. I don't know. Maybe, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Pokemon Trainer Crit Loop. Crit Loop. Okay. Drumper Raichu. So, yeah. Um, Pelipper plus Mug should be really good uh, lead here. And, um,. I set up the drizzle, which is fine. And now the thing is, uh, do I set up the tailwind? I think I should, because if I do that, yeah, I think I should. But I also want damage on the right in case it's focus sash or something like that. Drumpa is gonna be. Go, he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor, most likely into the max slot. So what I feel like doing is going for the Tailwind and maybe Protect. I think that's my best play here. Because I don't want my Mach to get a lot of damage. So let's see. Uh, Raichu is gonna go for the uh, Thunderbolt to the Pelipper. That's... Okay, he goes for fake out, and that's really good. I was not expecting the fake out to be honest. I was expecting him to attack, but I guess it's fine. Okay, hyper boys, and uh, that's gonna hit my Pelipper. Wow, that okay, that's a great. I was about to say that's specs as fuck. 
Well, now what I think I should do. Uh, he has. What do I need this for? Uh, Pepper does not do that much in this game. So. The thing is, I don't want to bring dump Drumpa to like uh, less than 50% 50, 50 HP. So. What I feel like doing here is gonna go for Scald, uh, trying to get the burn, and go for the... Maybe I can go for the knockoff here. Uh, he's gonna withdraw Raichu maybe? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna go for knockoff into the Raichu slot. Because um, Raichu should have speed mock. Okay, he's for protect. Um, I don't know if that's my best play. Okay. That is fine. We don't get the burn, which is unfortunate. As he's gonna offer Hypergoris. I think that may be... Um, okay. No, he, he's not Scarf. I mean, Scarf Specs. That's not Specs. The thing is, he didn't bring me to a point where I can, like... Um, uh, get my Fiji Berry on. So... I think... I'm gonna bring Golda because if I bring Tapu Koko, then the right is gonna be faster than than me. So I think that is not worth it at all. So I'm gonna go for the because I'm predicting his his right to the switch out, but he has no good switchings for a yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the. C move, he hide the vortex onto the Raichu. Because that should pick up the knockout either way, so. And I'm gonna go for the knockoff onto the Drampa. Because maybe it should be enough to pick up the knockout. If not, it's gonna be bad times for us. And maybe should have gone for the Ice Beam, but I was predicting the Raichu to like switch. But that's not gonna be the case. So let's go for the Hydro Vortex and hopefully we can get rid of the Raichu, which is going to be huge. Because then we can bring the Tapu Koko safely and it won't get out speed by the Raichu. Yeah, we pick up the knockout to the Raichu. And uh, Goldak should be good to survive. Uh, maybe should kill this? No, nope. it's not going to kill. Weakness policy and we got the Berserk. So this is not going to be good science for us. I think it's going to pick the double knockout maybe. Okay, not. He just picks the mock, and um, we're not in a really bad position right now because I can bring Tapu Koko, and Tapu Koko is gonna pick up the kill onto the Drumpa just with a with just a dancing limb. So um, it is fine. So he goes into Tapu Koko. I think we can get the double knockout if I land my. Do I need to go for the hydro pump? I don't think so. Tapu Koko, you have not. Really good resistant. I mean, he's he hasn't got a really good spadef, so I think I'm gonna go for scald. And what what he can have in the back? Maybe the Gyarados. Maybe. Yeah, but this is my best play. Uh, Tailwind's still up, right? Yeah. How many turns we have left? Okay, so we have just one more Tailwind uh, turn. So. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. Because it's my best play. Basically. He may protect with Tapu Koko. Okay, he protects with Drampa, so he's not choice. But I don't feel like that's a good play. Because Tapu Koko is gonna go down. Yeah. He's gonna go down. And if he has, like, uh, Gyarados in the back, I can easily pick up the knockout with a Thunderbolt and go for the Ice Beam onto the Drampa. So I think we got this game. Although, he may have nine tails in the back. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, it is Garchomp, as, as I was expecting. Yeah. Okay, so... I think we got this. Unless that thing's scarfed. Which may be problematic. No, it, we, we should have speed anyways, right? Yeah. Ice Beam plus Dazzling Limb should be enough. I think, right? 
I think so. If that thing scarf gets out speed anyways, so because of the okay, here's for okay, he does not. So we lose this one. Ah, shame on me. I was not expecting the Garchomp to speed, to be honest. But I had to go for the move right there. So we're gonna lose this one, unfortunately. I was not expecting at all to get out speed by um, the Garchomp under the rain with Golduck. So that may be like 252 Jolly and Choice Scarf, right? I think so. I think so. Well, I guess, yeah, that's that's the game. So we got. I, I could do nothing there. I believe I have to watch the replay and such to know if I made some like huge mistakes and such, uh, because that's why. That's how you improve at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be all for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, be sure to leave a like on this video, uh, subscribe for more Pokemon content, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Battle Factory episode. Peace.